Hi everyone, we're in this interview post continuing with self-forgiveness and commitments in relation to understanding how we cannot continue accepting and allowing ourselves to claim unawareness or ignorance or but I didn't know in relation to our minds and who we are in thought, word and deed, who we are in relationship to our physical bodies, um, our personal worlds, humans in our personal worlds and within that extending to the greater as everything, everyone and all else within this physical existence as a whole. Meaning from a physical perspective, it is obvious that we're all on this earth together equally as one. And in having a look at the last point I mentioned in the previous interview post, uh, or the previous written post uh, was that we need to start having a look at extending our responsibility, uh, expanding our responsibility within this physical existence that we're all living uh, within and as together. And essentially change ourselves from the unawareness and ignorance and I don't know excuses and take that step of extending and expanding our responsibility to our minds, our relationship to ourselves, our physicals, others, humanity and this physical existence as a whole. I mean if we all individually start standing within such responsibility we could be standing up and standing together for a change within the greater world system, money system and what life on earth is and has become. So within this we're going to walk some more self-forgiveness and commitments. Um, starting off with having a look at even, you know, as we were reincarnating uh, within and between our lifetimes within this physical existence, you know, going in and out the whole time, where even in that relationship we were seeing what was going on in this physical existence, yet we did nothing. So here we go. We're going to take it from that process from the great to the small, seeing how unawareness, ignorance and the I don't know excuse is just simply not valid when it is uh, evidenced in this physical reality that we're on this earth together and that we're living on this earth, on this planet together and so therefore it should have been common sense that we together will make or break um, our life or experiences within this physical existence. So here we go. I forgive myself that I haven't accepted and allowed myself to see, realize and understand as I was moving within and throughout my reincarnation cycles that I never, when I was in the process of crossing over, that I never looked back and looked at my life, looked at the consequences I had left behind um, in other people's lives, in what life on earth is and has become, and considered and wondered, but you know, what is my role, my part, my position, my relationship to that consequence that I'd left behind? Where I forgive myself that I haven't accepted and allowed myself to see, realize and understand that, um, you know, in crossing over 
within and during the past heaven earth relationship we didn't even bother really looking back we didn't bother investigating and introspecting and uh, getting to know the multi dimensions in which existence exists meaning that you know we didn't look back and see how our entire lives our thoughts words and deeds impacted and affected ourselves on all levels of our mind's existence the conscious subconscious unconscious quantum mind quantum physical into the physical itself that we didn't do that research and investigation in how our thoughts words and deeds impacted and affected other humans on all their levels of their mind's existence how that rippled into other human beings lives how me existing within the illusion that i have my own mind and thus my own me and thus my own life and that i'm essentially alone within this physical existence trying to make a life for myself that because of that illusion i am thus then not responsible for the greater world system money system and how it managed direct and control life on earth for everything and everyone and so i had essentially within that state of mind within that state of being of me living my own mind my own me my own life and not expanding myself to become aware of the multi dimensions within which i in fact exist that apparently because of that ignorance that unawareness that i didn't know i am exempt or free uh, or released from facing the consequence of my existence and so therefore life after life after life i just kept recycling in living in the exact same pattern of ignorance of i don't know of unawareness where i commit myself to show that with us cycling and recycling uh, life after life after life in this um, excuse of being unaware of being ignorant of but i didn't know that despite that our consequence had still accumulated had still manifested had still uh, rippled into our beingness our physicals other humans and the in the greater as well as what life on earth has become um where we didn't see realize and understand that by claiming unawareness or ignorance or i don't know by claiming that does not mean consequence goes away and within this existing that accepted and allowed idea belief or perception of mind over matter which is more mind covering up matter uh, where in that illusion of unawareness or ignorance and but i didn't know we can create a cover up of the consequences that we're creating and manifesting and have left behind but that doesn't mean that the consequence isn't there anymore it is and always has been here and so i forgive myself that i haven't accepted and allowed myself to see realize and understand how in moments of interaction with other human beings where i have spoken in a harsh tone where i have behaved in a nature of spite or revenge um or a deliberate uh, nastiness um where i had in my physical behavior moved uh, within and around them in their presence in a very particular communicative way to essentially let them know i despise them that i don't like them that i don't want to be near them or in moments where my tonality reached uh, certain pitches that in those moments i see the effect that i have on 
other human beings. It is right there in front of me and for most part that we do these things with the intent of having a particular specific result or reaction or experience in another human being. So within this that I forgive myself that I haven't ever accepted and allowed myself to consider but you know if I'm having such an impact and effect on other human beings lives consequentially where I have programmed my mind my consciousness in such a way to communicate such uh, deliberate um, nasty or spiteful or harsh um, words and behaviors and thoughts toward other human beings to invoke reactions or experiences within them that the evidence is clear within that with regards to the extent that we can influence other human beings so why have we then constantly and continuously perpetuated consequence in our relationships with other human beings why with knowing and understanding the full measure of the impact and influence that we have on others lives in such moments through thought word and deed did we not ever then consider rather changing our evolution to how we can make an impact or have an influence on ourselves and the lives of others through assistance and support through picking each other up through assisting and supporting each other to stand to live to be the best to be the most that we individually and together can be where I forgive myself that I haven't within this accepted and allowed myself to consider see realize or understand how we cannot expect ourselves to for example even conceive such a way of living or existing if you know of instead of creating consequence to implement solutions assistance and support um, you know guiding each other to being or becoming our utmost fullest potential but we cannot expect ourselves to live that to be that to express that if uh, we do not even live that in relationship to ourselves to our own minds which again brings us back to our own relationship to ourselves where if we have a look in our minds in our relationship to our minds we in our thoughts and our imaginations and our back chats and our reactions toward ourselves toward others to what exists we're creating consequence it is like we have pre-programmed our mind so specifically to deliberately invoke reactions within us to deliberately compromise ourselves to inferiorize ourselves to make ourselves less than and so therefore it doesn't take much to live that out in relationship to other human beings if we have a look at how extensively specific we are in our behaviors in our physical living communication how much do we move physically to deliberately invoke reactions in others in ourselves creating consequence we are consequence creation machines uh, organic robots that are pre-programmed to just uh, materialize and manifest and mold as much consequence out of everything and all that exists as possible there's no life existent and so therefore I commit myself to assist and support myself to understand me as consequence why is it that even toward myself in relationship to me within my own mind am I accepting and allowing myself to deliberately make my experience of myself more consequential with the thoughts I accept and allow the back chats I accept and allow the emotional and feeling reactions I accept and allow as a constant continuous presence or existence of who I am and have become that is oozing out of my very presence my very beingness my very living and is affecting and influencing and impacting 
on my relationship to other human beings and within that doesn't then take uh, much of a step within that to accept and allow life on earth to be the way it is um, it's like uh, consequence assisting and supporting consequence like because we exist as consequence within ourselves we'll simply accept and allow it in the without of ourselves and not consider change because we're not um, considering a change within ourselves and so therefore I commit myself to assist and support myself to no more utilize or use or abuse the excuse of unawareness of ignorance of but I didn't know because even in my own mind I know I see I am aware I am participating, I am living, I'm existing in the very thoughts that exist within me, the back chats, the imaginations, the emotions and feelings. I'm participating in it in every moment and breath. And so therefore I cannot in any way claim ignorance or unawareness or that I don't know. I'm actively existing in what comes up in my mind. I am the one that is not taking the responsibility of looking into it of understanding it, of investigating it, of really standing for a moment and looking at what it is that I'm accepting and allowing within me, uh, what is the impact or the consequence of what's going on in my mind, on me, on others, and so my relationship to this physical existence as a whole. And so in this I commit myself to assist and support myself to know more as I had done throughout my lifetimes, just, you know, not look back, um, leaving consequence behind, uh, cycling within this unawareness or ignorance or this I don't know, covering up matter, covering, covering up physical reality, trying to cover up consequence. Um, but to see, realize, and understand within this that the main point that I have to face is that I see, that I'm aware, and that I do know. And within this that I cannot accept and allow myself to continue giving myself the easy way out. Um, I cannot anymore look away, turn my eyes away, um, suppress or deny or ignore what I am, what I've become, what I see, what I experience, uh, the impact, effect and influence that I have on me and on others and that I can see that power that I have and that we have been using and abusing that power, that influence, that impact that we have to create consequence because we've become consequence and so therefore I commit myself to assist and support myself to align myself to become a solution to impact to utilize the impact and the influence that I can see that I have on others in thought word and deed to change and transform it in a way that assist and support me that assist and support others that we can redefine our relationships within humanity from consequence to equal and one solutions. All right, we'll go to here for this interview. Just having a look at changing that relationship from consequence to solutions, from creating consequence to establishing solutions, and how that change has to start within ourselves, within who we are, and how and what we live. Thank you very much. Thank you.